Hi guys and welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial and of course uh, the Christmas season is approaching and Christmas itself is approaching and I thought it would be fit to do a tutorial on how to create artificial uh, snow in your images. It's a pretty easy tutorial but it's really helpful and you can use it across a wide range of different uh, images. For example earlier I did this design and uh, I, as I saw some marketing in their window and I thought, oh, that looks pretty cool, so I put this together. And you can see the artificial snow has also been used here. Well, it's pretty simple to do, and what you need to do is you need to select your brush. You need to go over to the brush properties over here. You need to make sure... We'll start from scratch. Um, so you've got your brush here. You want to make sure shape dynamics is ticked. And you want to change the size jitter to about 70%. You want to adjust the angle jitter to about 50%, the roundness jitter to 100%, and then you want to make sure scattering is ticked. Now you can scatter this to 1000% if you want, but I like to tick both axes as well, so it gives this kind of more three-dimensional effect of the snow. You can adjust the count depending on how much snow you want, but obviously we don't want that much, so one is will do for now. Then also you can click on transfer, and you can adjust the opacity jitter and the flow jitter. And once that's done, what I tend to do is I tend to build up three different layers. So I first off, I want quite big snow, so like this. And then what I'll do is I'll create a new layer. And then I'll create snow about half the size of that, so real little bits of snow. Like this. And then what I'll do is I'll go even smaller, so maybe this kind of snow, well maybe not that small actually maybe about size 14 and just put that in there too now of course right now the snow doesn't look that great you could be sitting there thinking well that just looks really cartoony and rubbish well obviously what we want to do is we want to merge these two layers by pressing command E then go to filter blur and motion blur now see you want the motion blur to be the angle that the snow is actually going in so, about 50 degrees on this. And then you can change the amount of motion blur. Now, I don't want to add too much, just a bit. And then what you can do is you can lower the opacity on the snow, duplicate the layer, and then on this layer, bring the opacity up more. Then use your eraser brush. On quite a high amount, we have hardness on zero, opacity on about 50%, and then just start getting rid of some on this secondary layer. So what you have now is you have two different layers. You have a layer with not with a bit more opacity, but with some bits erased out, and you have a layer with uh, not much opacity at all, so about half the opacity, and that's all across the whole layer. So what you get then is you get this kind of nice effect of less opacity in certain areas because obviously when snow falls it doesn't all fall in the same amount it's not all real heavy you know you get some parts in the sky which look less like less snow and that's how that works and obviously you can do this you can do this however you like really I mean this is just a tutorial to kind of give you some advice I mean you can even play around with the snow layer you can make it smaller if you like and then say duplicate it and uh, just play around with it like that and make the snow particles smaller which could look quite nice so what we'll do quickly here is we'll just merge these together by using the eraser tool and merge these layers together duplicate it again and put it on the top here then use the eraser tool to blend these two layers together and as you can see, you get this really nice snowy effect. And that's basically how you add snow to your images. It's all basically in the brush preset. It's pretty easy to do, but that's, um, that's pretty much it. And of course, you can use it in graphics like this too, so more kind of minimal style snow with less bits of snow everywhere. Again, it's just playing around with the brush setting, uh, with the scattering and how, much, how, many, how many different bits of snow you want. Um, that's basically it for this tutorial. Subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials on this channel. I look forward to reading your comments about this video and if you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and share on your networks. I'm sure this video will come in handy for a lot of people during this season and during this time of year. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in another video soon.